hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is Mimi if you're not new welcome back to another video so today I just wanted to come on here and talk about my minimalist journey I have made a few video here and there talk about like um, the things that I use as a minimalist some of the product that I use or how um, my life has changed being a minimalist for the past two almost three years now so today i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys how being a minimalist practice and minimalism has completely changed my life in a huge like in in different ways different aspect of my life so i just want to come on here and talk to you guys about it the first thing the first way that minimalism practicing minimalism has changed my life is delivering me from buying always buying always trying to you know always trying to fit in the latest trend y'all when i tell y'all ever since i started actively practicing minimalism two and a half almost three years now like i have not subscribed to the whole buying or i don't even watch fashion hauls like that anymore i stopped watching them i stopped i just watch like minimalist videos or like how i can like spend my money wisely and things like that so i'll give you guys specific example of this i used to buy clothes all the time i used to own so many shoes i remember when my husband and i got married i um <laughs> i had so many shoes like i didn't even have space for them that's how bad it was i was just buying shoes just buying clothes just to look nice like who was i even trying to impress i don't even know but now you know like i wear the same clothes you guys i have like less than 10 tops less than 10 pants I do laundry every week because I use the same clothes all the time but even for church like I have maybe like five or six pants I wear the same things every time if you follow me on Instagram I'm gonna post my Instagram and you will see like I wear the same stuff all the time but I just like switch it up with different tops and things like that and it looks nice it really looks nice and like I'm so happy about it because I used to spend so much on clothes and shoes and stuff and now it's like I will buy a pair of shoes maybe like every couple of years and I, I'll just make sure it like lasts as long I get like most of my shoes now from like Zara because they last a little longer and I get some of my clothes from like ASOS and my pants I still get from Fashion Over because Fashion Over pants just fit right you know but I have not really purchased in like a new clothing item in a long time first last time I did was this actually this past summer and before that was probably like three or two years ago like I don't really shop as much before you guys I used to shop every single paycheck every single paycheck I get so minimalism has completely changed my perspective how to use my money wisely now so that's why like you know we try to like invest our money because we have little kids who's gonna grow up and go to school and go to college so like you know we like try to save up and use our money wisely because um it's so easy now you know in this generation of influencing no 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 um no offense to influences but um i feel like you know that's part of their job too that's how they make their money but it's so easy to like always consuming and not using our money wisely if we're not as disciplined because we're always being sold product you know what i mean so like for me now i buy stuff but i only buy things that i need and not things that i want or things that i think are cute and want so that's one way minimalism has changed my life so another way is um i been driving the same car for almost a decade now my car is nine years old and like y'all i'm around people i won't say the type of church that i go to but i'm around people like the church i go to everybody drives nice cars uh my friends some of them drive really nice cars so it's like it's easy for you to be tempted to switch up your car you know like i said my car is nine years old and my car is i drive a 2012 honda civic and i got it back in 2015. that's like what nine years now maybe ten going on yeah nine and i bought it in january so yes it's about to be nine years old and it drives just not just good um my has some scratches in the on the outside but it's like i work from home too that's another reason i'm like i work from home why am i changing? so yeah i was just thinking to myself like why would i ever change my car and get a new car when i work from home i hardly go anywhere the only places i go is like doctor's appointments to, with for my kids or like school events or like let's say every now and then like a girlfriend will have like some type of dinner or something but even those i a lot of the times i take uber to those type of events because 
I don't know what the parking situation looks like. I don't know what the neighborhood looks like. So when I go to places that I don't live in, I don't know the, the area as much, I usually Uber. So I'm like, what am I getting a new car for? It's, e we're easy, it's easy to be influenced to get a new car, to like look nice, to post a nice picture for, for Instagram. It's easy to do those things, but it's like practicing minimalism and you know, applying the principles I'm so sorry, y'all. My neighbor's dogs are being barking crazy this morning. But yeah, like just applying those principles in my life. Every time I'm gonna do something, I ask myself, is this something that I need or is this something that I want? So like yeah, that's been driving like the same car for like a decade now. And I don't have a need to change it because I don't see no need to change it. That's like extra three, four hundred dollar I could be paying I will be paying on a monthly car note when I can put that towards my savings or like invest it in something that makes that's meaningful and makes sense to me. So yeah that's one way practicing minimalism has completely changed my life and especially being in the midst of it. Like I said I'm around people that drive nice cars. I'm around people that you know wear nice things all the time don't get me wrong i wear nice things but i'll be shopping on sale you know i'll be shopping on sale over here so so another way that i save money i'll say how we save money as a family we don't really subscribe to the whole seasonal decor um like example like some uh it's it's example like it's uh christmas season now we we still have the same decoration in the house that we had since we moved into this house the only thing we add is a christmas tree which will be going down by the end of january but we don't really subscribe to the whole seasonal decor thing maybe one day i would and even if i do i would listen i'll go to a thrift store okay i would thrift things and not splurge on things that doesn't make sense if, if if it's something that's gonna last me at least four or five years i don't mind spending money on it but i don't mind but i don't want to like do seasonal decor every year like i see some people do it no offense to anyone if you float your boat go ahead but it's just not my thing it's just not how i want to be spending my money and like i said if i feel like i need to make any changes in my home or anything there are thrift stores i live like five maybe less than that four minutes away from a thrift store i'll go to a thrift store but um that's something i don't really subscribe to another thing i don't subscribe to is like skincare products you know you, we watch all these skincare product videos all these self-care videos it's easy to be influenced to buy 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 for me personally i've i've made a video on like my skincare products i have one skincare product for everything like one face wash one toner one um face oil like i have one of each i don't have like i don't have a junk of every of you know you know how people say you product junkie when it comes to like hair product? I, I'm not a junkie, a product junkie when it comes to skincare products, even hair products. I have one for one of everything. I, I when when that product, let's say like my hair shampoo, when it's about to finish all the way towards the end, that's when I'll buy another one. I don't like to just stack up things in the house. That's just not me. That's not the type of person I am. And you know, and I've not to say before minimalism life, I used to have a few of things, a few things, but now it's like I don't see the need to have all those things and also practicing minimalism i try to have less i try to own less every year last week last week today i'm i'm filming this video the day after christmas and last week i declutter my entire space so like every year before the new year i try to de declutter any clothes that i haven't worn in the past year or year and a half i get rid of shoes i get rid of skincare product things that are, that are just sitting there I get rid of or things that I have no use for. Even my digital space, my my apps on my phone, phone numbers that are useless, phone numbers that I have not used for the past year or so, or people that I let go. I just get rid of all that stuff. So it's like I'm so grateful for you know being exposed to the minimalism lifestyle. Yeah, I would record a video explaining like some of the things that I don't mind spending money on as a minimalist. But um, yeah, those are a few ways that minimalism has completely changed my life and changed my perspective on being like a consumer all the time, consuming things. And yeah, so what are some ways that you guys practice minimalism if you do practice or would it, is it something that you would be interested in? You don't have to be a complete or like extreme minimalist, but like what are some ways or practical ways that you 
um, practice minimalism that allows you to save more it, um, you know that allows you to consume less that allows you to have like a clutter-free space so yeah you guys you can um, share some of your experiences in the comment like I said I will make another video on the opposite of this topic and talk about it thank you all so much for all the love and support on my channel I appreciate you guys I will see you in another video bye bye